Hi everybody! Welcome to the Dragon Time! We just flew out of a kangaroo. Look, I I chose the blue rhino dude. Ah oh, yeah, he's got a banana. You, he's, banana? That's he's, his that's his horn dude. Yeah, sure. Hey, I see a hunter's butt. Your blood bubbles up at a kangaroo landing. And that one roller is guy's butt. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Colbex! Where you go? It's the land of butts. Oh. We're going to Sheila's help. Yes. Thanks again, Spyro. Oh. Now I have to find this entire out video, we will not be controlling Spyro. What? Well, a little bit. But Sheila can't even breathe fire. She cannot. Hiya, Sheila. Oh. While you are gone, a bunch of what happened to your face? He's Billy. Billy's a little horribly deformed. <laughs> what what plan could ghosts possibly have? Are you gonna eat your way back home? Whoa. Sheila can run pretty fast, but she doesn't have a charge. Okay. She can jump pretty high. Pretty cool. She got a kick. Her, her charge and flame buttons are <clears throat> replaced by this kick. <laughs> Follow Bobby and Pete up there using your air harp. It's oh, easy. Dude. Just press the X button again at the top of your jump. Air hop, buddy. They call it a air hop, but really it's a double jump. <laughs> um, but the confusing thing is that she has another skill that they will like in a bit called the double jump. Uh, what? Look at her face. Look at her face. She does not like water. Kangaroos no. are not natural, natural swimmers. <laughs> no, 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 and none of her levels have uh, diving or anything. That's probably for the best given how horrible that looked. So that means that when you uh, hex Spyro into her level and you go into water, the game just crashes. <laughs> We'd never plotted for this. Or the other way around. Oh, that's a nice German mining rhino. Yeah. You can <coughs> have really hey, steep Pete. cliffs like this one with your double jump. What? Press the X button to jump and press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do the double Whoa. jump. Once that's not a double it, jump, that's a... You want. Yeah, that's like a spring jump or something. It's like a Mario third leap jump yeah. thing. Oh, man, it, it totally is. Oh, that's cool. You go really high. Oh, that's really sweet. So, like, the entire world is a trampoline for Sheila. Yes. I now idolize this kangaroo. That's awesome. That's why Sheila plays so differently. She can jump really high, but uh, when she does, she has, she has very little horizontal movement. Oh, okay. <laughs> and her final can. move is, yes, her, head, her smash, really. Not her head bash. <laughs> She's butt bash. Yeah, but the same thing, really. Yeah, alright. So we can expect a lot of verticality in Shiva Town. Yes. And a lot of butt slam. Mm. Yay. So this is just her. This is like her home world. Uh, home at last. It's like a, she's yeah, like the I'm only kangaroo here. It's like a meta game. This is a home world within the home world. Slamlet. What does she care about eggs? Well, she's collecting them from Spyro. Because you can see that Sparks is with her. Oh. So Spyro's like, Sparks, get me all the loot. Oh my god, that's that's bold. Also, I like your abuse of crappy goats. <laughs> he keep, well, he wanted to make an omelet out of that dragon. Man, kids had to watch you beat up their old man. That's messed up. Now he's been a masculine forever. I to get past this moose. He knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking. The cowards. I kind of like the good, the good voices. They're pretty yeah. good. Well, if Sheila is Australian and it goes for German, how does that work? I. At some point, they'll have a conflict, and Sheila will be, will be somewhat involved in the downfall of the goats. That's about it. Mostly she will fight money bags who will take the role of There's no like Japan. 
Animal. How am I supposed to construct my axis of cartoon animals? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, eat it, Moose. Get There's dunked. plenty of cartoon animals in the Sparrow series. <laughs> Thankfully for you. <laughs> Thank goodness. I know about you and that one character. <laughs> what can I say, man? What can I say? It's best to keep that a secret. <laughs> She just kick rock like damn. Yes. That's impressive. <laughs> like all across the levels, there is like these hidden, well, slightly hidden, hidden areas up here. Yeah. Just like to show you, like, hey, Sheila is more vertical. Look, always look up. Well, it also it makes it so her double jump isn't just a like a binary thing where it exists only to get over objects that can only be double jumped over. You know. Yeah. A lot of, like, modern, more modern platformer thingies have done that, where, like, here's an ability, you can only use it once in this very, like, structured, s scripted sequence. Yeah. Isn't that fun? No. We definitely <laughs> use her double jump a lot. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Hey, Take oh. this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. <laughs> Goats are also jerks. Wait, we haven't helped him yet. Why did he give us a dinosaur? <laughs> oh, you're adorable! <sighs> oh, the cheeky dance. <laughs> you're like Liz Lemon, the dinosaur. That's cute. So this moose here is very special. Special? Spe what? Seeking so glitch out. <laughs> oh no, you broke the. Oh god! Oh, well, like, that's cool, a cool thing to do, but it also means that you, you won't get this gem and you have to restart the level for it. <laughs> well, that's what you get for casting a moose out of reality. <laughs> yeah. I banish you to the far realms, moose, where you shall never be seen again. I'll confuse them with taunting while you stomp oh. the huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Yes, we know how to stomp, you silly. You remember how to stop? He even repeats it the second time, jeez. <laughs> First time I saw the stop, it looked like you were like nailing your tail into the dirt and it looked really painful. I'm glad that is not the actual reality. <laughs> oh, so these guys time. are special because they spawn infinitely. No, oh, well, the... they don't give any gems or anything. What oh, jerks? And I'm trying to like show you how they come out of their houses, but they're like doing it with screen. <laughs> they're quantum rhinos. Oh, they're, oh, they're, they're spoofs of the ceremony. Ah, there you oh, go. No. Good. So what you have to do is you have to smash that. Just... <laughs> so what you need to do is find the rhino nurseries and burn it to the ground so they can't breed anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who needs rhinos? They have so much treasure too. Yeah, yeah, because this level is so short, they let me give you a lot of gems very quickly. You know, if you're, you make your house into a loot pinata in a platform world, you kind of asked for this. Yeah, you kind of have. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, this is very geometric pine trees. <laughs> they look sharp as hell. Is that an up area? Yes, it is. Oh. oh, good. I'd hate to be wrong. Oh. Huh. Now, when you bring uh, Spyro back as Sparks, you won't have used up all the gas. <laughs> oh, good, because Spyro wouldn't like that. <laughs> well, Spyro might not let you borrow it again. Let you borrow his gift of immortality. So this level just serves as a tutorial, so you get to know Sheila a little bit. Yeah. If you ever forget how to control That's why it's kind of short. Vehicle, <laughs> if you ever forget how to control your body, I'll, I'll tell you about it. <laughs> or vehicle, she said. Uh, you can have this vehicle. Egg I found in my house. vehicle? Is this going to be like Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? Uh, nah. Uh. <laughs> I doubt it, but that would be awesome. 
I see that, that hidden doorway. It's not that hidden. Oh, it, it, it's like some guy's hidden alchemical meth lab back here. <laughs> Archimedes, we have to cook! This is cool, I mean, Shido's not obviously gonna replace Spyro anytime soon, but she is a, it's novel to have this kind of, a change yes. right now. If she could charge, I don't know, Spyro might be out of a job. I do, like, when you, when you control Sheila for, like, a long period of time, it kind of, like, wears on you. <laughs> and then that happened. Yeah, and then that happens. I So now when we come back, something different happens. Sheila's gone. Oh God! But Cage and Moneybags are still there. She never left the house. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the king. And you can still free her. Ah. So like that, that's the weird thing. Um, if you beat her level, you free her. Yeah. But. The game thinks you freed her, but the game also thinks you didn't free her. <laughs> my bag's like, yo, in, in case you're retarded, I will still take your money. Just, just saying. So Sheila is here hanging from the balloon, so she's freed, Hi, but Spyro. money bags is still there, like selling her. It looked terrifyingly like she had hanged herself from long years. Horrible. Oh, 